I don't know why people bother saying things like, there's no turning back now. (laughs) There's never any turning back. There never has been. There never will be. It's Girl in Space. Crisis averted. Sort of. I mean, that batch of coffee's ruined, but nothing's on fire for once. Gotta celebrate the little wins. <sighs> okay, so before all that happened, uh, I was processing through something that's really been weighing on my mind lately. Not just my mother, but the little drawer full of embryos. The human ones. So... I brought Specimen S to my mother that day, and I asked her the question that had been gnawing at my brain for days, weeks, months, forever. Why did you choose me? She didn't answer right away, so at first I just assumed she had chosen not to hear the question. She did that sometimes. But... Then she finished initiating the thawing sequence for Specimen S, and she spoke. I didn't, she said simply. Those two words got my heart racing. Well then, who did? I whispered, wondering who else could possibly have had a role to play in my existence. Who had decided my fate. You know, if you believe in that kind of thing. But she just... laughed. No, I mean, I didn't intentionally select you, she said. I chose you, but it was completely random. I needed an embryo, and your vial was nearest the front of the drawer. It just happened to be the one I grabbed at the time. She must have seen my face then, and felt something, because she put down the petri dish and the tongs and squatted down to my eye level. It was just like you choosing specimen S here, she said. Quick, impulsive, devoid of thought, and thus devoid of meaning or motive. I struggled to understand this for a few moments. Does that mean I don't matter? I remember asking, simultaneously dreading and needing her answer. Of course not, she exclaimed, laughing at the terror and dismay on my face. She patted my cheek. You matter a great deal to me and your father. You're our control group, and that's a very important job. I remember wondering at the time if my role was important enough to justify my existence, my guilt at the privileged life I was living, the life my little frozen embryonic siblings would never get to experience. (laughs) Or hey, maybe they all had it way better than I did. Who knows? Warning! Warning, warning. The most recent series of hull ruptures have begun to cause considerable strain on the infirmary pod. My sensors indicate trace amounts of carbon monoxide. Carbon monoxide. Carbon monoxide. Is something burning? Again? It's just the coffee. Um, okay, uh, the infirmary. I'll figure this out. And hey, you know, worst comes to worst, we don't really need an infirmary anyway, right? How are Osiris's vitals? Oral receptors malfunctioning. Charlotte? 
Charlotte. Day 10 mark 320, hour 0459, make that 0500, ooh, I just slept for something like 20 hours, I must have needed it, ugh, what's that horrible sound? Hey X, what's that sound? I don't know. It woke me up, too. I'm gonna go check it out. (sighs) Ah. Are you okay? Mm. Mm Mm-hmm. Yep. Never been okay or... Must have just been some acid left in one of my burns. Hey. How about you? How are you feeling? Um, I'm okay. Uh, so, is there any particular reason you stashed me back here in the shadows with all these... Glass tanks full of spiders? Are these spiders? What? No. I put you by the waterfall and the orchids. And many, many glass tanks full of spiders. Spiders are our friends and an essential part of the Kavatika's ecosystem. And technically, those tanks are full of scorpions. It's kind of creepy. No. It's... I was trying to... Mm, I can't help it if the spiders and scorpions live back here with the orchids. I also can't help it that you're weirded out by them for some reason. That one's the size of my face. Just, if they're bothering you, look to your right instead of your left. Look, the waterfall and the orchids, that's what you were supposed to wake up and see. It was supposed to be beautiful and soothing. They're all staring at me. Yeah, well... You're probably just as horrifying to them as they are to you. Now, I'm going to go check out that noise. You stay here and cultivate a proper appreciation for the class arachnida. I'll be right back. Oh, hey. Yeah? Wasn't Charlotte here before? Oh, crap. Okay, uh, well, at least Kaya's still here. I mean, still offline, but physically here. All right, you stay there. I'm going to go check out the siren, then... Hopefully find Charlotte. Wait. Okay. Everything is okay. Caldwell Enterprises probably didn't sneak in while we were sleeping to steal Charlotte and reprogram her to murder me and Chen when we least expect it. Because they would have taken and reprogrammed Kai too. Right? Unless... Well, no. I'm not thinking about that. Everything is totally super okay. Priorities. The sirens coming from the Dash Core. <sighs> okay. Looks like we're losing pressure. And oxygen levels are down. Huh. Okay. I probably just need to better seal the door where the remote connector is attached. (laughs) Was attached. Huh. Apparently those weird crystals aren't creating as good a seal as I thought. Oh. Unless someone came through the door to steal Charlotte. Shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Okay. I've got it. Ah! Pardon me. Are you attempting to es- es- escape from the Kavatica? Because I'm afraid escape is not a viable option at this time. Mm, nope. Definitely not trying to escape. So, um, glad to see you up and active again, Charlotte. How exactly did that happen? Would you like to live forever? Uh... I have engineered a breakthrough process 
that allows the subject to live, 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 live. Oh my gosh, there you are. Danny, hey. Hey, sorry. This was supposed to be a surprise. Well, I'm definitely surprised. No, I mean, not the eternal life sales bot. She's just a side effect of the main event. Common side effects include hives, shortness of breath, organ failure, hemorrhaging from the fingernails and eyelids. Gross. Sorry, this machine thing came speeding up to me the second I got on board, and I've been so busy dealing with it that pretty much nothing is going to plan. What was the plan? Oh, right, so originally the plan was to continue being an amazing epigeneticist forever. You know, solve problems, help humankind, speak at conferences, win prestigious prizes, make a bazillion dollars, and live in a mansion. All that stuff. Like you do. Right? I kind of mean more the plan that ended up with you and Charlotte in this hallway with me. I assume that since Charlotte is active, it had something to do with smuggling my mother's body off of the Enforcer 1? Oh, right. So, yeah. There was a massive hole in the remote connector, so I grabbed a vacuum suit and, well, you might not be super thrilled about this, but the coffins aboard the Enforcer 1 are all vacuum rated, so... Smart. Thanks. I stashed her body in the pod closest to the docking mandibles. It looked like some kind of living quarters and had a tarp over the entrance. It was supposed to be a surprise, but you're welcome. Would you like to live forever? No, Charlotte. Not if it means becoming a weird fungus zombie and hitching my consciousness to a robotic arm that recites annoying safety manuals all day. I was wondering about that. Well, not the safety manual thing, more like, what's keeping your mother's body alive? Or what your mother's body was keeping alive. Would you like to live, 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 live? Creepy. Yeah, lots of creepy going on aboard the Cavatica today. You're not freaked out by spiders, right? No. According to the books I've read, spiders are theoretically crucial to their respective ecosystems. Thank you. Would you like to live forever? Um, let's maybe walk and talk? Right. I was just going to grab something to seal the door with. It's leaking at Mo at a somewhat alarming-ish rate. Oh, Actually, Charlotte, how would you feel about doing a bit of non-violent welding for a change? If you insist. So, what I really want to do is ask you why you decided to help me. But, I'm afraid if I ask you that, you'll realize that you've made a huge mistake and stop. So instead, I'm curious, did you have any trouble getting into the Cavatica from the remote connector? Oh, actually, yeah. There was this weird crystal growth all over the exterior of the airlock. I had to, like, chisel it away before I could even get to the door. Yes! Any thoughts on what they could be? Not my department. I mean, not to sound like a jerk, I want to be helpful, but I don't want to speculate wildly about something that's outside of my expertise. I get it. Oh, wow. The crystals grew a lot while we were sleeping. Look at this. The whole door is encrusted now. Look, I can see where you broke through. It's growing over the cracks already. Jeez, I should have checked my sample before coming out here. I bet that's grown like crazy, too. Tungsten arc welding laser at the ready. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Huh. If we were both able to break through the crystals, then no doubt other Caldwell Enterprises folks can easily do the same. Should I have Charlotte weld the door shut as a reinforcement? Go for it. Um... It might mean that you'll have a difficult time getting back aboard the Enforcer 1. If that's what, you know, you want. Yeah. I'm not going back there anytime soon. Okay. Charlotte, could you please start welding there? Commence welding. So, what happened? I don't even know. Well, I mean, I know what happened from my point of view. I just didn't think things would change so fast. What do you mean, change? Everything is just different now. I mean, I know it's all outlined in the Caldwell Enterprises Handbook of Branding and Conduct, but I didn't think it would ever, I don't know, happen? Welding complete. Danny, what happened? Why did you leave? Well, 
I got back to my lab after checking on Dr. Keen and Dr. Nakamura. All that carbon monoxide didn't do them any good, by the way. And I found that fixer waiting for me. Oh, she's okay? Um, kind of. She was sitting in a wheelchair and was wearing one of those prototype prosthetic legs, but yeah, for the most part, she just looked kind of cranky. Huh. Sorry for interrupting. Go on. Um, so... Welding complete. She told me I was getting tested for corporate loyalty, and the counselor's assistant strapped me into this chair thing with all of these needles that pumped some kind of clear liquid into my veins, which was just super not okay. I tried to fight them as they were putting me in the chair, but the assistant was too strong, and the restraints were made of metal, and then whatever that liquid was zapped my energy fast. Welding complete. <sighs> so, yeah... They asked me a bunch of questions, and I don't even really remember most of them. Just that apparently I screwed up by caring too much about Dr. Keen and Dr. Nakamura's lives. What do you mean? I didn't pass. I've never not passed a test in my entire life. But I didn't pass this one. And I'm loyal. I've been loyal for, like, ever. That's what gets me. Welding has been complete for quite some time. <sighs> Thank you, Charlotte. You are welcome. What then, Danny? Well, the fixer said they were going to have to terminate my internship, and I was like, oh, heck no. But I was still strapped to the chair, and I couldn't move, and she wasn't listening to me, and I couldn't do anything, and I was so angry. I've never, I've never felt helpless like that before. So I started telling her what I thought of the whole torture the intern routine, and said that when my father found out, he would shut them down, and then... <laughs> what? I don't know. I wasn't exactly my best self in that moment, you know? And it got to the point where I was pretty much just screaming incoherently. Then, all of a sudden, there's this huge crash, and the fixer and the assistant go all limp. And there's Officer Thorson holding this giant gun and just laughing. Nice. Yeah, she got me out of the chair and told me to have fun. Whatever that means. So, now I'm here. I'm glad. And speaking of here... I shall remain here. Do not judge us too, too, too harshly. Whenever you say that, it means something really unsettling is about to happen. This way. Here, I have a light. Okay, uh, we're making our way through my parents' pod. Everything's pretty much the same as before, just minus the fungus. Though there's still the Peraria Montana, uh, kudzu, growing out of my dad's chair. Which is actually incredibly weird. What's it living off of? I haven't thought to check. Oh gosh, now I can't help myself. Danny, could you please shine that light over? Ah, thank you. Well, that's odd. More crystals. Well, not even that. I mean, though admittedly, that's odd, too. Look. Oh, is that a... A nest? Yeah. Watch out, the whole thing could... Mm. Do that. Gross, it's... <coughs> Blech. Gross, it's in my mouth! <coughs> well, looks like the nest has been abandoned for quite some time. At least they moved on to greener pastures, a.k.a. my potato plants. So what was living here? Some kind of bug? Insects, yep. And see the way the crystal formation feeds out of the base of the nest there and there? They must be related somehow. What were you working on, Dad? Um, not to put a damper on the whole discovery thing, but we should really unsell your mom's body from that coffin. Right. Sorry, lead the way. There she is. There she is. Do you, like, want some time alone with her? No. No, thank you. I... I don't really have a plan. I just didn't want Caldwell Enterprises to end up with her. Is that petty? If it is, maybe petty's okay. <laughs> Thanks, Danny. This... It means a lot. Were, were her eyes open before? No, but 
It doesn't really surprise me that they are now. Hi, Mom. Do not judge us too harshly. I won't. I never do. Don't worry. I'm... glad you're back. That machine against the wall. Uh, Kai told me those hookups have something to do with thoughtware. That maybe my mother had been experimenting with something before she got stuck like this. Do you know? Hmm. I've seen equipment like this before, but I don't know how it works. Should we try to hook her body up to it? Maybe not. I don't want to make anything worse. We can ask Kai. You know, after we figure out how to wake Kai up. Or heck, Charlotte might know. Thank you. Oh, no problem. I mean it. You have done so much. Hey, wanna head back to the glass house with me? I was gonna make some breakfast and coffee for me and Chen. There'll be plenty to go around. Coffee? Coffee. You've never had coffee? No. What is it? Oh my gosh. Danny. It is life. It is breath. It is hot, delicious rainbow alchemy. You are about to ascend to a whole new level of sciencing. None of what you just said makes sense. Also, it sounds like you may have a chemical dependency. Oh, definitely. But, like, not in a bad way. You'll see. I like to think that I'm mature enough to admit when I've made a mistake. Well, good. <laughs> I love coffee and discovery. Oh, science, true daughter of time thou art. I told you not to let her have that much. You did. And now I'm probably not going to be able to convince you to try it, huh? Nope. It's like I can see time. Well, maybe it's for the best. The tree probably can't produce enough beans to support a raging caffeine addiction in all three of us. I don't think you could handle me with that much energy. I don't know. I hear those Caldwell Enterprises guns have a stun setting. I don't think you could use a gun on another human being, even if you got your hands on one. What? I'm totally ruthless. <laughs> okay, X. Speaking of guns... Yeah. Want to figure out how to get Kai working again? Yeah. I've been putting it off because I'm scared I'm just going to screw things up further. So, I don't know if you can see this from your gurney, but earlier, I started taking apart this panel on the back of Kai's neck, but I didn't know if it was the right place to start. Also, I was super overwhelmed and depressed. That's alright. I think that's the cerebral spinal fluid input. Try that space over the, no, the other side. Over where the ear would be. Here? Yeah, you can barely see it, but there should be a little panel, and if you press on it, yeah. Oh, thanks. Jeez. That stun really did a number on you. Hey, Charlotte. If your aural receptors aren't currently malfunctioning, could you give me a hand? It appears you are attempting to repair sensitive technical equipment. Would you like my assistance with that? Yes. For once, I would. Thank you. I am glad you have opted into letting me help you repair sensitive technical equipment. Why is this ghost so tiny? Partial repairs complete. Booting sequences and cranial sectors are currently offline. If you'd like, I can run a complete diagnostic scan of this unit. However, burr, 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 burr. In the event of compromised hardware, troubleshooting may be restricted. Thank you, Charlotte. That would be great. How long do you think this will take? I mean, for the scan and necessary repairs. Task list estimated at approximately 2 hours, 29 minutes, and 8 seconds. Good. Okay. Thank you. Hey, Chen. In times of corporate warfare, what are all felonies punishable by? Disassociation. Why do you ask? Back when we were in the infirmary, the counselor was making a threat. Kai shot out the speaker before we could hear the whole thing. Ah. 
dissociation. I'm assuming this has something to do with, like, separating your mind from your body? X, I don't think... Is that what really happened to Kai? <sighs> Kai is complicated. That sounds like a yes. Which means Kai is a felon? Whoa. What happened to not making assumptions? Is it true? Kai is a good person. Does it matter? No, I mean, not in that regard. I've done my share of awful stuff. Everyone has. I just... I don't know. Sorry. I didn't mean to get judgy or anything. I just wanted Kai to have been honest with me. Maybe Kai was honest with you. <laughs> I guess. And... Lots of alarms today. What is it this time? Um, how do you feel about a little field trip? Okay. I'm in the Dash Corps with Captain Miles Chen, who's still on his gurney, by the way. Uh, hey. And it looks like, yep, it's the radio. <laughs> hey, uh, remember that one time I answered the radio and it was you guys on the Enforcer 1 and then everything got really confusing and terrible forever? We're not that bad. I'd be a fool to answer it again. Hmm. Hello? Yes, this is Counselor Van Gogh. Ugh, hold on just a sec. Wow, that is some truly terrible reception. Well, Charlotte fixed it, so... She's not gonna make Kai sound like this, is she? Well, there's also the element of Ra's interference. Hello, this is Counselor Van Gogh. Mm, nope. Try again. Hello, this is Counselor Van Gogh. Gosh, you know, I still can't... Hello. Hello. X, don't mess with him. <laughs> just kidding. I can hear you just fine. What's up? Were... Were you just wasting my time? No more than you're wasting mine. What do you want? Is it ultimatum time? Got some exciting new threats to share? Ooh, or do you want me to make myself more accessible to your assistant for dispatching, a.k.a. murdering? I never did run into him, by the way. No. I need to know what your intentions are regarding the Empress Conglomerate. Huh. The what? <sighs> Don't play dumb. It doesn't suit you. Now, what are your intentions. No, I'm not playing dumb. I actually don't know what that is. Rubbish. The damage to the Kavatica's communications pod, the vicious attack on the fixer, the overall mutiny. We've charted it all right here in your file. Don't lie to me, Specimen X. Uh... Okay, just a sec. Chen, what is he talking about? He thinks you're an agent of the... Yeah, I got that part, but what's the... Empress Conglomerate? They're a competitor of Caldwell Enterprises. We've been at war with them for years. That's the corporate warfare the Counselor was talking about. Hello? Huh, okay. Oh, right. Yes. I totally did all of those things. Um, so pretty much, I'm working with the Empress Conglomerate to bring down Caldwell Enterprises. I knew it. How did they manage to get to you before we did? That doesn't matter right now. The question you should be asking is, what am I doing for them next? You do realize we're willing to destroy the Kavatica and everyone and everything on board to ensure that it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. Oh, I have no doubt that you do something so stupid. Or so petty. And, I have to point out, in this case, petty is not okay. So, what is it you really want? You didn't radio me just to tell me things we both already know. You're right. It 
a distraction. What? Crap. Support for the Girl in Space podcast is made possible by listeners like you. You can help keep the show going, get sweet merch, and access bonus episodes for as little as $2 a month when you become a patron on Patreon. Visit patreon.com slash girlinspace, all one word, to check out exclusive rewards for patrons and make your pledge. That's patreon, p-a-t-r-e-o-n dot com slash girlinspace. For credits and a full transcription of this and other episodes of Girl in Space, please visit girlinspacepodcast.com. If you're interested in creative writing, be sure to check out my other show, Right Now. That's right, like W-R-I-T-E, because puns. Otherwise, thank you so much for listening to the Girl in Space podcast. It means so much. <laughs>